Hello, everyone. So I was driving here from Pittsburgh, and on my way in, I saw some political signs that scared me a little bit. <laughs> Almost you turned my car, but I guess vote for Fagger, everybody. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Oh, but, you know, you guys see the Great Clips haircut, right? <laughs> Paid a lot of money, $15. <laughs> no, but guys, no matter what happens up here, I want you all to know, I can't possibly disappoint you any more than I already have my family. Because <laughs> I'm a dyke from West Virginia. <laughs> they didn't laugh like that. <laughs> No, they, my parents actually told me they'd rather I be doing heroin. <laughs> but you can fix that one. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get clean from pussy for years. <laughs> Hasn't worked out yet. <laughs> the political science might do it though. <laughs> no, I actually almost got clean last year. <laughs> it was during Pride Month. I thought you guys might cheer for that. You know, boo, boo, pride. No, you should boo. I'm tired of pride. It's an exhausting time for the gays. You have to be all happy. <laughs> My girlfriend decided to celebrate by dumping me. Oh, I know, but that's more than my therapist gives me anymore. <laughs> so you're gonna hear about it, okay? Hope you guys take insurance. <laughs> my therapist doesn't. <laughs> No, she gave me a refund yesterday. We're good. <laughs> I bought a body pillow. I'm fine, guys. <laughs> no, I did. I bought a body pillow and I got a silk cover for it so that it lightly slides away from me throughout the night. <laughs> so I got it. Yeah. It's really great. Someday I'll learn to sew and it'll hold my vibrator and I'll be good. <laughs> breakup happened, I can't, I can't deal with the fact that I sold my soul to the devil for someone who pays for Pokemon Go events. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, it's a red flag. <laughs> don't trust anyone with that app. <laughs> no, I didn't realize that it was a red flag though until she and I were on this date. It was going really, really well. She was choking me. And <laughs> That was the green flag, okay? I was all in. But then she rolls over out of bed. It was like, sorry, babe, gotta go right now. I got a big battle later. I was like, cool. Guess I needed the ultra Pokeball to catch aftercare. It's great. But after that breakup, the next night we were gonna be friends, and then out of the blue, a few weeks later, she Venmoed me $50 to tell me that we weren't gonna talk anymore. And it's my new favorite way to communicate that, guys. <laughs> Honestly, if you hate the set, send me money. <laughs> At Georgia Order. $50 or more, and I'll bitch about you guys too. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, no, but it was weird. She only blocked me on Venmo. It was no other form of social media. It's a weird way to cut somebody out. And all I wanted to do was to send that $50 back to her and help her pay for her autism assessment. Uh, oh, I'm gonna argue my point hanging in there. It's all right, it's a good line. Uh, no, I started with a Pokemon Go joke, okay, when talking about this person, that's number one. Uh, number two, I had to roll a nat 20 to eat her out. And I don't think we need the DSM-5 for that one, okay? <laughs> I know a few of you in here have to play d and I know you made it out of the basement, right? <laughs> but really, uh, I'm also, okay, I'm ADHD, which is often comorbid with autism. And in my case, it was just codependent. She completed me. <laughs> yeah. And to make you guys feel better for laughing at this very funny part of my set, uh, I took that $50 that she sent me, and I actually donated it to Autism Speaks, okay? Yeah, bad people can do good things. And I, I gave it to them though with, with a little note that just said, I think we've got a lot of progress to make. You know, autism doesn't speak to me anymore. She blocked me. <laughs> they took the money. 
Like one time, I tried to go to the dermatologist to get on Accutane. Has anybody here been on Accutane? Oh, some claps. Hell yeah, you owned it. I like that. Uh, no, it's for adults with acne, guys. And I roll up to this office, and they slap down an I Prevent Pregnancy Pledge in front of me. I was like, I don't know if you guys saw the haircut. <laughs> I don't need to sign anything. <laughs> No, ma'am, okay, we've had people tell us that they were gay and come back with a deliverance baby. And I was like, we're in rural West Virginia. If I'm having a baby, it's a deliverance baby. <laughs> but no, they did, they doubled down. And they were like, no, you're getting on two forms of birth control. I told them I'm on two forms of birth control, okay? I'm gay and I have adult acne, all right? <laughs> How many people are getting laid walking in this office? That's why I'm here. <laughs> I went home to my uh, hometown over Christmas, and they tell me that it's getting better, and I do not believe them. <laughs> but I saw two lesbians openly walking down Main Street holding hands, and guys, I couldn't help it. I whipped my car over so fast. I was like, ladies, get in the back. Tell me where the Subaru broke down. <laughs> this camping trip is going to end. We're going to get you out of here. Yes, I'm the weird one now. But I tried to figure out why they live there, and I guess some lesbians do like hunting, just not the ones I like. So then I, to find more, I snuck across Pennsylvania's southern border. You guys should build a wall. <laughs> Knew that was gonna hit you. Uh, so, I wrote that joke for my dad, he really likes it. But somehow he likes the choking one more. <laughs> They were trying to ban a lot of LGBT books in rural communities from schools. And I, I don't think we need less opportunities to read in rural America. My graduating class had a 15% English proficiency rate, okay? <laughs> Just give them the books. All right? <laughs> Anything they're reading, I'm proud of them, you know? It could be gay, it could be mind comp. You're still reading. <laughs> No, but for all these parents, like, are you cool with your kid being illiterate as long as they're straight? Like, is that the outcome we're okay with? Like, that's my boy, he needs the picture menu at Wendy's, but god damn it, can he eat pussy. <laughs> yeah. Look at him go, I wish my parents had that reaction for me, honestly. I can read too. <laughs> But I don't think these parents have ever actually like consumed queer media. Because when I, I ended up gay with no queer media, as soon as I came out, I started watching all these lesbian movies. Guys, they're terrible. They're awful. I started trying to grab dicks again like Jesus once. <laughs> really? I, like, I can't do it. No, they are very similar, actually. Lesbian and Christian movies, they're pretty much the same thing, guys. Uh, there is no plot, no budget, and a lot of tension before the hand-holding. Yeah. But if you fast-forward a lesbian movie, there'll be somebody in Victorian-era clothing riding somebody's face later on. <laughs> Produced by Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. For a long time, I thought that I was just really kick-ass at celibacy, you know? <laughs> no temptation over here. <laughs> yeah, and then my friends would come to me and be like, hey, got a boyfriend? Guess what? Sucked his dick last night. And then they'd get greeted by a holier-than-thou lesbian telling them, respect yourself. Okay, I'm gonna get on my knees for Jesus. <laughs> and then a lady asked me to get on my knees in college, and I was like, oh, sorry, Jesus. <laughs> I understood the appeal then. <laughs> I came out of college and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do it in one phone call, I'm gonna call my dad and lay it out. His main concern was that I was basing my whole sexuality off of one weird 17-year-old ginger dude I dated. I didn't know how to tell him that early college there were plenty of 21-year-old dudes I also tried. They sold me weed, it was mutually beneficial, guys. <laughs> okay, it was low quality head, low quality weed. That's a fair market exchange. But I couldn't tell him that. You can't tell your dad that you fucked other dealers. That's a weird conversation. You can tell him that you like choking, apparently, but uh, I couldn't tell him that. So I, I came up with this cutesy way to let him know. 
and that's that I was like the Goldilocks of dick exploration, okay? So I went to the first one, and I sat on it, and I thought, this one's too small. And I went to the next one, and I sat on it, and I thought, this one's too small again. And I tried one more, I made sure it was big enough this time, you know? So I went to it, and I sat on it, and I thought, oh yeah, this one's just right, and it sits on my nightstand. <laughs> the color of the lesbian flag, I was a for something. <laughs>